Hello, Year 9s. Here's our first example um, where you're asked to solve. So when I start to look at the question like this, I first look to see what's by itself. So I see that positive 5 has, uh, is not, um, doesn't have 3 as its denominator. It's all by itself. So it makes it nice and easy to move this over to the other side of the equation first. So I'm going to move that over to start with um, to kind of simplify things. So I'm going to subtract um, 5 and subtract 5. 5 five minus 5 um, gets me to 0, and 7 minus 5, um, 7 minus 5 is 2. So I'm left with 2x over 3 equals 2. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to look at um, moving the 3 over. So when 3 is a denominator, what that means is it's divided by 2. So that means I'm dividing 2x by 3. So the opposite operation of division is multiplication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this side by 3 and multiply this side by 3. These 3's cancel out. And what I'm left with is 2x is equal to 6. Finally, I need to get x fully isolated or by itself. So I know that the operation between 2 and x, the operation here between the two is multiply. So the opposite of that operation is division. So I'll divide by 2 and I'll divide by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that means, I just have run out of room, that x equals so when you get to this final step, you can do a quick check to verify that your work is correct. So I'm just going to role model doing a quick check just so you can see how that works and see how we can check. So we're going to remember that x equals 3. So I'm just going to add another side here so my work's going to go away. If you're wondering where I got x equals 3 from, that's the solution that I got right here. So I'm just going to flip back. So I'm going to rewrite my original um, equation that we were trying to solve for x, or isolate x, so 2x over 3 plus 5 equals 7. So we determined that x equals 3. So we are just going to check. Sorry if my writing's a little messy. It's not easy. That's probably a bit better. x equals 3. And that's the solution we just got. So if I just so first thing I do is I substitute x into our equation. So I'll just go like this. And go 2 bracket 3. That's where I've substituted in our value for x over 3 plus 5 equals 7. So the first thing I do is I multiply, um, I multiply 2 by 3 to get 6. All right, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And I know that 7 equals 7. Therefore, x does equal 3. All right, so let's try another. This next one, I'll do x minus 4 over 2 equals 5. So this is a little bit different from our last um, example. In this example, x minus 2 as an expression is completely divided by 2. So not just one of the terms is divided by 2, but the entire expression is divided by 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the operation that's happening here. So this is division. The opposite operation of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply by 2, and I'm going to multiply by 2. So what you do to one side, you must do the other. That means that these x's cancel out. I know that 5 times 2 is 10, x minus 4. I must further isolate x. So I'm going to isolate x by adding 
four to this side and adding four to that side. So if that's a little bit messy, negative four plus four makes zero. So I'm just left with X on this side. And I know that X equals 10 plus four makes 14. So there's another example. I'll do one more example here just so you can see one more and then you're free to get going on your practice. Your final example, example three, we'll say that uh, 10 equals five plus two x over three. So again, I'm gonna start by isolating four x. So you see how five is by itself. It has no uh, denominator, so it's not that uh, this is all the way over both terms. Uh, then divide by three only applies to the term two x. So let's move um, five over first by subtracting. So I'll just subtract five from this side and I'll subtract five from this side. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by three and multiply by three that causes these two to cancel out and three times five makes 15. And I'm left with two X equaling 15. I divide by two, I divide by two, and that's going to get me X equaling 15 over two. You could also say it's 7.5, but I'll just leave it as 15 over two. Again, we could do a quick check. So I'll see if I can just squeeze this in here. So let's do a quick check. 10 equals five plus two, 15 over two over three. All right. So. 10 equals 5 and when I do this um, when you expand what will happen is you can kind of do this in two steps so we're gonna take 2 and multiply it by 15 over 2 so don't forget that it's actually 2 over 1 1 times 2 makes 2 this is looking a little bit messy but 1 times 1 times 2 makes 2 2 times 15 makes 30. And then that is all over 3. And then next, you know that 30 over 2 can be simplified to 15 over 1. Now there's another way you could have done this to get there a little bit quicker. So that's uh, equal to 15 over 1. Yeah, sorry, plus... Let me just clean that up a bit. Um, equals 15 over 1. So this simplifies. Let's take one second. Um, this will simplify down into 15 over 1, which is just 15. Don't forget. It's just hard for me to write near the edge of the screen. Sorry if it's a bit messy. So that's going to simplify down to just 15. So I do this. That's why I'm kind of skipping to 15 over 3. Because 15 over 1 is just 15. I can next say what is 15 divided by 3, and that is 5. I also know that 5 plus 5 is 10, and therefore that is a true answer. I know you could have used 7.5 and put it in there. And the other thing we could have done a little bit early on is if when you look at this step right here, if you don't think of it as 2 over 1, if you just look at it, 2 as a numerator and 2 as a denominator, your 2s would cancel out. Get, leaving you with 15 over 1. So it's kind of what we took the long way to get to down here. I was trying to do dotted lines there, but it's just not as easy with my uh, stylus. So there's a third example for you. I hope that helps you see uh, three different examples on how to solve equations um, when you have a uh, fraction um, involved in it as well.